Yo, what's up beautiful people? Welcome back to the kitchen. Another episode of Marky Mark. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week so far. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in again this evening. I got another awesome recipe coming at y'all. Tonight we're doing Caribbean fish tacos. And another super simple fish taco recipe. You can do this with any type of fish. We're doing flounder, but uh, flounder, tilapia, catfish, bass, really anything you like, you can make it happen. It's a super simple, super easy recipe. What makes it Caribbean, man, is uh, the pineapple salsa I'm gonna do up. So, the pineapple salsa, also very simple. And if you wanna go out to the store, if you don't feel like making your own salsa, I'm not going to judge you if you just want to buy some pineapple salsa, but this recipe that I'm going to do for it is also very simple, very easy. Uh, one whole sweet onion, diced, a nice handful of cilantro, diced, a can of diced tomatoes, and a can of pineapple tidbits. Now you can do fresh pineapple. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to grab a fresh pineapple, and if you do do fresh pineapple, I would almost recommend either chopping it up and doing a little pan sear on it, or grilling it, then chopping it up and adding it to this. That would make it super extra special, guys. But anyway, I'm gonna get rocking and rolling on this. So anyway, like I said, what's in the salsa? Pineapple tidbits, a can of diced pineapple, the sweet onion, the handful of chopped cilantro, a little bit of pepper, garlic powder, salt, and uh, depending on my tomato to pineapple ratio, I may also add this can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, which will give it a little kick. If my ratio is good, I'm just gonna add a squirt of sriracha to give it a little kick. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get going on the salsa, and y'all come along for the ride, so don't go nowhere. See, in just so, a sec. I cut my sweet onion right in half then I cut it three ways boom 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 I've already done that because I'm sappy then just cut it down into nice salsa bits like so make sure to keep your knife on your knuckles especially if you're gonna go for a fast chop because that will prevent you from chopping your fingers off Anyway, guys, I'm gonna do this one a little quicker, showing the knuckle strategy. Bada bing, bada boom. So there is the onion, which is the major part of the salsa. And these Caribbean tacos are awesome. Um, I'm gonna batter them in potato flakes because that is my favorite and I got these seasoned with a little salt pepper garlic powder and uh, just probably a teaspoon of um, Lowry's seasoning salt because it's oh so delicious so anyway got the onion got the pineapple got the tomatoes and I got a full container anyway you guys you can give this a little stir Steer it up. Any Bob Marley fans out there, leave a comment. Just tell me how awesome you think the man is. So anyway, guys, got the pineapple, the tomatoes, and the onions all chopped together oh so nicely. And this is a super chunky salsa, and it's really, it's almost, you know, too chunky for chips. Um, if you're going to do chips, I would recommend dicing everything up a little more, especially the pineapple tidbits, but for taco toppings, it's absolutely perfect. So, got my bunch of cilantro, wax that up real fast. And you want to wax that up nice and uh, thin so it spreads out through there evenly and you get a nice amount per serving. All right, y'all, so all I'm gonna do now is salt and pepper this to taste, but you can 
can see right there it is looking oh so lovely. I'm actually going to go ahead and do a preliminary taste test just to see what we got going on here. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-mm. -hmm. Go, -hmm -hmm. got to try this one. You will love these tacos, I promise. So, like I said, a little salt, a little pepper in here, a little garlic powder. That's going to be good to go. And then I'll get the batter in this fish. Catch you all in just a second. All right, you guys, the pineapple sauce uh, is on point dialed in I did add a tablespoon maybe a little more of lime juice and um, I just used that out of a bottle but uh, uh, a tablespoon of lime juice maybe a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of black pepper and uh, probably uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder I will get all those things figured out and dialed in for y'all and of course of course of course of course I will have them in the description at the bottom of the video so you can dial in this pineapple salsa for yourself and I would almost make this as even a salad just to eat for lunch. It is oh so good. I could eat the whole container without any fried fish at all. So anyway y'all, I'm about to batter up this fish. Like I said, we got flounder. It's going in the egg wash and then straight into the potato flakes. No need for flour necessary with the tater flakes. The tater flakes are seasoned and then I'm going to do mine on corn tortillas, and I believe my on top likes the flour tortillas more, so I will do theirs on those, but anyway, I'm going to get to battering up this fish, y'all, and then when I drop it in that frying pan over there, frying it in peanut oil, I'll bring y'all in for the drop. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Hope everyone, like I said, is doing wonderfully, and uh, you know you got extra time at home, so you got to try this out. I promise you will love these things there. It's just a nice twist up. If you watch my other fish taco video that's also amazing but that's more of like a pickled cabbage with some pickled jalapenos and a ramelot sauce so this is a little different this brings you right down to where you're right near the beach bye lot of mercy All right, you guys, welcome back. So we are done up now. I grilled my tortillas up right nice. Now I did come up with this off the top of my head and it'll send you to bed. Um, do a smear of sour cream, creme fraiche for the professional chef terms. On the bottom, a tiny drizzle of honey. And then, then you layer your fish then you drop your pineapple salsa on top and I tell you what guys this is the ticket right here this is how you do it and um, I hope you guys try this because you're absolutely gonna love it I promise you I would not steer you wrong so pineapple salsa on top with the creme fraiche and the drizzle of honey on the bottom guys and this is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do a quick taste test, and uh, we'll be good to go here. All right, tell, wrapping it up here. Got them done up, looking oh so good. Here comes the taste test. So good, you guys gotta try these things. They're absolutely amazing. That's all I got for you guys for tonight. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen once again. And until next time, y'all. This is Mark and Mark coming at you live. Caribbean fish tacos. Don't sleep on it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next time. Catch y'all on the flip side. Later. <laughs>